I look back to also like my my career and you know I could have kind of gone in different directions you know after you know I left my last role and I decided I always wanted to stay close to the technology like even if you're the most senior of, of CIOs you, you don't want to ever separate yourself too far from the technology and I think with AI it's even though there's gonna be so much innovation and, and automation it still needs people right there's still people in process there's design that needs to happen you know, certainly would model context protocol that you can build agents and they'll, they'll learn how to talk to each other and they can build other agents. And, you know, you could get a level of automation without human intervention, but someone has to construct it. Someone has to run it. And over time, we have to continue to make these things more efficient as well. So if you look at DeepSeek, right, the thing that, you know, everyone got very you know concerned about DeepSeek. The thing that intrigued me the most was that they figured out a way to make something that was already built about a year and a half ago run run faster, right? With less compute and, it, right, and cheaper, right? And, and that's gonna be continue to be the drive, right? So maybe five, 10 years from now, like my son is working on, you know, making a more efficient model, right? That runs on a lot less compute and a lot less power, right? And because those are all things that present challenges today. And I think AI is, is what we're looking at today, but the next generation of that is quantum computing, right? Quantum is gonna be a game changer, probably even more so than AI. And you're gonna to have to have that skill set, right? To, to be able to, to work with and, and leverage quantum computing.